Welcome to another edition of Don't Shoot Your Messenger Podcast Quick Hits. Quick Hits. On his Quick Hits, we will be talking about Ronda Rousey. Well, Chris, you can lead us yeah. off on your home girl. Well, Ronda Rousey, home girl, that's a strong, that is a strong word. Then um, you said she was like one of the sexiest women in your, I, I, no? I've never said that. You sure? I, I, I can assure you that I will okay. never say that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ronda Rousey won uh, last weekend against uh, Beth Carrera. And, who was who was undefeated? Who was undefeated as well? I was rooting for Beth. I was rooting for Beth to win. But as I I did a little more watching of Beth Carrera, um, and I might not be saying her name right because uh, the Carrera is like Brazilian, so mm-hmm. it could be pronounced totally different. So Carrera. Was, right, uh, Carrera or something like that. I don't know, <laughs> a Cotteria or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, I was rooting for her, and as I went to. Even though she was undefeated, and I went back to watch some of her older fights. Mm-hmm. She just wasn't polished. Mm-hmm. We, where Ronda has like everything she does is is tight, is precise, is to the point. True. There True. was a lot of sloppiness I saw in Beth's game, and I said it's not it's not going to be good. So 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 I don't mean to cut you off. So could you give the listeners who didn't see the fight who are probably going to go back on YouTube and watch it? Ellen lasted 36 seconds. So 34. could you 34, I'm sorry. Um so could you go back and give us like a play by play of the 36 sec 34 seconds and you can make it 36 because Okay. Uh play by play was they come out Beth immediately, you know, tries to, you know, uh, square up with her, get some hits in. Mm, not good. Uh Ronda tries to take her down, tries to take her down. Is unsuccessful. Stands back up, punch punch punch. Tries to take her down again, unsuccessful again. Beth tries to sw- Beth swung quarter, but nothing like significant. Mm-hmm. Um, after the second try failed, uh, Ronda Rousey stood up with her. Um, not that they ever went on the ground, but just stood straight up with her. Hit, hit her with a knee in the gut. Hit mm-hmm. her with a couple punches. Hit her with a left cross, and she dropped like a bag of bricks. And that was the and that was the fight. And she has become. I think you made that fight longer than we were, probably. Was. She has become. <laughs> Ronda Rousey has become this media darling. She's become this this shining example of what a woman athlete and a woman fighter should be. And I hate to rain on that parade of what they have made her to be. But people, it was all a lie. It's, it's all a lie. I, it, my my biggest my biggest problem with Ronda Rousey. I don't want to take away from her athletic ability. Her Obviously, years and years of uh, experience and training in Brazilian and, and jiu-jitsu. Go ahead, and, man. Do your thing. Go ahead. But here, here's where I struggle with Ronda Rousey. And, okay. and, and, and a piece of it is her fault, and the majority of it is the media's fault. She's always calling out a guy that she can beat, or you know, they portray her as guy shouldn't piss this one woman off. Okay. And the media has taken that to like she's the baddest woman on the planet. She can beat up guys. And I'm not saying that women can't beat up guys. I grew up in the hood. You grew up in the hood. Yeah. I seen girls give it to dudes countless times. Yes. Yes. I, and I mean straight up with hands, I seen girls give it to dudes. I, I don't I don't want to take that away. But she's constantly out in the media, you know, saying that she can beat guys, constantly calling out Floyd Mayweather, knowing that any guy worth his weight that's a real fighter can't say anything back because i mean because if you come out and you say listen i would fuck her up you would be not seen as a pariah nobody would want to touch you 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 would be this guy has a domestic violence issue this guy you know he has a thing against beating women so no real guy can come in and, and challenge her to like say Shut up. I would I would beat the crap out of you. No guy can say that because you would be looked upon in a bad light. But she can say it about guys. And what pisses me off about it is that it's not that it's a double standard because there's just double standards in life and, and that's fine. But what pisses me off about it is she goes along with this, like, I can beat up these guys. I can beat up all of these guys. Mm-hmm. Knowing that nobody can, can't say anything back to her, it would be bad for them. It's a punk move. So you're talking Agreed. junk. To people who you know can't say anything back, who you know, and a lot of the guys, man, they get in the media and they go, "Yeah, you know, she's a bad one. She might beat me up." Chuck, 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 chuck. But I know deep in their heart, they don't feel like that. Yeah, they don't feel like that. And I, listen, 
Could she could she give me a run for my money? Maybe. But she 135. I'm I'm all at 260. I can tell you this right now. <laughs> I need to let her <laughs> I need to let her flip me. And she's just not gonna flip me off the strength. Okay. You know what I mean? It, Cause she, listen, she's a world class fighter. I might be in for I might be in for a rude awakening. But every time she's on TV and they put her up against a guy, the guy is standing there letting her flip him. And 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 but but one thing that we're missing is that he's not these top elite athlete that they're letting her do this to. And she's probably and she's usually doing a demonstration. Right, right, she's, right. You know, so so she's. So he's at her mercy. So right. of course she looks good. Oh, of I fucked a man. You know what I mean? Like I seen her. Um, she was on uh, uh, Real Sports. Okay. And you know she was demonstrating, and she made a uh, guy tap off. I'm like, okay, well, he was at her mercy. Right. But you try to do that to an athlete, or you try to go pound for pound and toe to toe with Floyd Mayweather, it's not happening. It's okay. Really not. It, it's and you know. I agree with you because I'm tired of these women athletes. Oh, I can do this and I, I can do that to you. You know damn well they can't do nothing to you. And if they do say something, like you said, they're going to see like the misogynist. They're going to seem like right. they're the woman beater. They're going to see like, you know, they're this guy. So since Floyd Mayweather can't say it because he's, he's being politically correct and this is don't shoot the messenger, you would get your ass whipped, Rhonda. Okay. You would get your ass whipped up and down. Up and down the uh, mat. If you want to play <laughs> basketball, you will get your ass beat in basketball. You will not win. So if you want to take this this lovable image and 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 talk about um you're the great, you're the best athlete, fine, please, I, I respect you. But mm. don't come and say you can beat a man because you cannot beat a top athlete. Well, well something, it's not happen. Something that we discussed in um, a different podcast that didn't yep. make it to air was you know she's always claiming that she can beat a man. There is a, a UFC woman fighter named Fallon Fox who is transgender, yeah, uh, male to female, mm. calling her out. You know what Ronda Rousey had to say what about her? What she say? I don't think it's, it'll be an unfair advantage yeah, for right. her to fight. Well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. But you, you could beat Floyd but, Mayweather, right, right? But you could beat Floyd Mayweather. But it's an unfair advantage for you to fight a transgender male to female that's in the um, MMA world. And and let's and let's be clear. If you're if you're talking science here, he's really a female because his hormones. He has more estrogen at probably now than he does. Right. Oh yes, yeah, actually yeah. testosterone. Yeah. So so he is a woman. Yeah, he said. Um, you know, she well, said. She, she, she yeah. said that. Um, she lost a lot of her strength she transitioning did. to being a woman. She's not as strong. She's not as fast. Um, like I said, she's hopped up on a lot of estrogen, and yep. um, she she has lost a fight to a woman in, in MMA. So it's not like she's this you know world class wrecking crew you know type of a athlete now that she's used to be a male and now she's a female. But you know she called she called her out and that's what. Ronda Rousey had to say it's an unfair advantage. So, stop. If that's an unfair advantage, I just want her to stop going around. And I, like I said, a piece of that is her. A piece of that is her. The majority of it is the female media who is like, we finally got one. I mean, they were even comparing her to Mike Tyson stop after it. she won. Stop it. They were stop comparing it. her. I want to compare to Michael Spinks. Cut it out. Cut it out. Mike Golick compared her <laughs> to Mike Tyson. I was like, oh, back when Mike Tyson, you know, was knocking people out yeah, right. all the out. time in the first couple seconds. I'm just like, he, are you kidding you know, me? And, and are you I, kidding me? I think he was talking about more of the excitement, more of her, like how the matches were God, quick. I hope he, I hope he because, was. Cause I hope he was. Because if you're trying to say that she couldn't beat Mike Tyson, then you watch your damn mind. Mike Golick, uh, Mike Greeny. Mike Singletary, any mic, <laughs> microphone, you out your damn mind because it's it's because it's not gonna happen. But I think that a lot of it is for publi- for publicity, and she is trying to bring a dying UFC to light, and you know, and which we know it's on its last leg. I so mean, she's become, she's the hope. Yeah, no, she's become a, a, a big star. She's a mega star. Um, I think they almost pulled in like a million pay per view buys almost. for for her fight. And believe me, that that card was garbage. Mm-hmm. There wasn't. I mean, as far as um, some of the fights, the fights wound up being entertaining. But okay. just you know, for star power, people you know, it was really just her. So yeah. it was basically by herself. She pulled in a mega number. So you know, and she's gonna get. She, I think she's gonna continue to get that as, as she continues to win because she's a you know uh, a role model 
a female figure that other females can look up to, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think she does a great job. I don't think Rhonda is a bad person or that, um, you know, she's using this to, you know, for a different agenda. I, I just... I just don't like how she always comes at males knowing that no male, no real male can say anything back to her. I, I, yeah. I just don't like it. Yeah. And and you know what? It's the same way she got on top is the same way she can get down because only thing it takes is for a young, hungry chick from some background who really need the money, knock her ass out. And then she she's pretty much done. Well, there's people out there for, like I said, Fallon Fox, and then the one that everybody, Cyborg? Christina Cyborg. Okay, and she is. But the thing is, Cyborg is uh, weight class above her. Uh, mm-hmm. She fights at 145, and uh, Ronda fights at 135. Ronda has made it very clear that she does not plan on coming out of her weight class, and Cyborg has made it clear that she she's, she's all muscle. I don't know if you ever seen her, but Cyborg is all muscle. Mm-hmm. She can't. There's not an ounce of fat on her. She she can't drop ten pounds. Yeah. She don't got ten pounds to drop. She said maybe she could get down at a catch weight of like one forty. She said even that would be hard. So So why don't Ronda Rousey go to one forty? Ronda Rousey is not going to one forty. So, That's so, the point. So you saying that she's scared? You know what? She is scared. She is scared. Uh okay. Cyborg has been rumored and suspended at one point in her life as an MMA fighter for steroid use. Um, and again, like I said, if you haven't seen her, her name being Cyborg is legit. That's her last name. It's her last name. It's more of a ring name. Okay. But it she is a cyborg. I mean, she is all muscle, man. I mean, she. I would be, if I ran into Ronda Rousey or Cyborg in the alleyway at nighttime, I'm crossing the street hmm. and I get with Cyborg. Okay, because Cyborg is that, like, intimidating. She's that ripped. She's that muscular. Cyborg would be more of a challenge, I personally think, for Ronda Rousey than anybody else, you know, because she's in a a relatively young and -and up-and-coming sport in female Mm -hmm. MMA. There's not a lot of talent out there. There's not a lot of people that's been doing it for a long time. Cyborg just happens to be one of the people that has. She is. is, Yes. Right. Yeah, she's not losing any weight. Exactly. Is she, is she mixed? I mean, I know it's off topic. Yeah, but. she's um, she's got some Brazilian in her. I was about to say she looked Hispanic. Yeah, she's got some Brazilian. She, you know, she she doesn't look too bad. I mean, she got a long chin, but she know. she looks about as good as Rhonda, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. she she's like cut. Yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. What what ten pounds is she losing? What ten pounds is she losing to get down Christine to one thirty five? Cyborg. If if you guys just just go to Google or Bing whatever and just check our pictures. Um, it's Christine Cyborg, right? Yeah, yeah Christine it. Cyborg, check her out. I mean, it's I like it's Christiana or something Christi- like that. I don't know, but, but yeah, wow. she looks like a freaking bodybuilder. Like her body just, and she's undefeated, correct? No, okay. she's lost before. But so, she, you know, what she looks like she looks like if you want to just a quick throwback. She reminds me, yeah, she reminds me of a a, a younger China when China came yeah, into yeah to the WWE back in the day, and China was just like wrecking everybody. Even though it was fake, but just China's body and physique, you were like, "Yes, that's not fake." Yes. You know what I mean? She's built like that, so that that would definitely be a good one. But I mean, I don't have nothing against Ronda Rousey. I think she's a great athlete, but I you know, like well. you said, you know, when you when you keep talking that yin yang about you know you doing this, you doing that, it's, it's only a matter of time before somebody come bust your ass, and now you just back on the totem pole with well, everybody else. I tell you what. It, I'll give her the one thing. She doesn't talk a lot of crap about the women that she's going to fight. She better not. She, Beth talked way more crap than than Ronda Rousey did. Uh, Ronda Rousey saves her crap talking for Floyd Mayweather and other guys. That that's that's fight. where she, right, people that she'll never fight. That's who she kind of saves her trash talk for. Even when Layla Ali came out and said that Layla, Layla said she would beat her, you know, she didn't respond back to Layla. You didn't respond back to Layla. She's smart. And, and She's smart. Look, I mean, hand game? She can't hang with Layla. No. The, that hand game is, she, that's just genetic. She got that from her daddy. She, <laughs> can't, she wasn't hanging with no Layla. But you remember when Layla was the baddest woman on the planet? She yes. wasn't calling out guys. No. Even when people started comparing her to fighting guys, she's like, I'm not a man. Don't. 
Don't put me in that. Serena Williams is as dominant as she is in tennis. When people say, well, she could probably beat, you know, some men in the professional tour, she go, listen, that's another Yes. That's another world. She realized. That's another world. She's a, I'm not saying I can't be competitive, but I'm a woman. I mean, I'm not telling any woman to stay in your lane. You do what you do, boo boo. <laughs> you know what I mean? You you go for whatever dream that you want to go for, but I, I think there has to be some realization at, at certain moments to go, listen, that's this is just a little bit out of my realm of what I do. And, and all of the great female athletes I felt or, or females who were in, you know, contact sports and things like that, they all acknowledged it. And Rhonda is like, no, nah, I'm just the baddest person in the world, period. And, and, and I think that part of that is media. Yes, media and her brand so she can get more money for her fight. So. There we go. In her defense. There you go. Yeah, man. And uh, welcome to another. I mean, thank you. I said welcome. <laughs> Don't mind right. me, Let's man. Bring them, bring them back in. We're going to bring you back in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for listening to another edition of Quick Hits. Um, I'm your boy, Professional Sutton. I'm your boy, Chris G. See you on the next one. Peace.